Before you list your property, the number one thing you should do is gonna be the same thing a listing agent does, an appraiser for the buyer's bank is going to do, and the buyer or their agent may do themselves. And that's check the town property card against what you're saying is in your home. If you have done anything that adds value to your home, significant value, central air, more bathrooms, extra finished square space, you need to have that permitted and added to your town property card in order to be able to add it to the value of your listing price and get a higher per uh, sale price for your property. So why? Why does it need to be permitted and added to the town card? We go back to the appraisal. So our goal as your listing agent is to make sure that we sell your property for the absolute best offer that we can. And that not only means price and terms, but that means the best offer that's gonna to get to the closing line and it's gonna get you across the finish line with as little of obstacles as possible. And it also means we're gonna anticipate some obstacles. That, the major one of that being the appraiser. When the appraiser comes to appraise your home, which the buyer's bank is going to do, they are going to check the town property card. And that, the details in the town property card are gonna be what they use to create comparables and a list that gives it a value for the bank. So that is our role as a listing agent is to do the same thing. I'm gonna pull up the town property card. The most common example I have of this for you is finished square footage, particularly in the basement. Somebody will call me, Crystal, my house is 1,500 square feet. Great, I take a look at the town property card. It says only a thousand. I go out to the seller, I asked why. They said, well, there's a 500 square feet in the basement that I never permitted. I can't use that in creating a value for you. I can market it, say that there's finished uh, basement space, but I cannot add that square footage because if I use 1500 square feet to create a market listing value for you and we sell the contract off that and let's say the buyer never checked it, the appraiser definitely will. And he's gonna come in and say, no, I can only do a thousand square foot and those are gonna be my comps. What is gonna happen? We're gonna have a price discrepancy. That's gonna immediately stop the contract. It could mean that your buyer's mortgage fails, which means we have to go back on the market. And this could continue to happen over and over. This is a common issue. And every time it hits the market, we have to explain to buyers why each contract is failing, which just makes your property look worse and worse. We're not getting to the closing line with the best offers possible with the littlest obstacle possible, which is why I check the town card first to avoid all of that. Now, my advice again continues to be check the town card, make sure anything that you added a value that you want factored into your listing price, sale price when you go to sell your house is there. Now buyers, make sure that you're also having your agent check that town card before you put in an offer. You wanna make sure you're putting in an offer at the right square footage and the house is actually worth what they're saying. You don't wanna to make too high of an offer and then have all of those obstacles that I mentioned. So if you're thinking about selling in a week, a year, take a minute, pull your town property card and see what details are in there. Is there anything that's missing that would add significant value to your property? Because you want that to match. Now we're in 2024, so the great news is that this can be done online. Every town has an online system where you can check your town field card. And if you have any questions that are on how to do that or would like us to pull it for you, uh, feel free to contact us and we will happily do that.